Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to create the 2D text with the uh, device in device safe area insets insets. Huh. It's not important which device you use, you every time see the whole 2D text in a perfect alignment. So what? Yes, let's start. Okay, let's start with the 2D text and we create at first the different 2D text layers. So we have first of all one layer, so it's right here and I will change the color to magenta so we have no trouble to see the different layers and add to this one the text camera and play camera and down below play and go to narrow regular left and the in the height it's the the corner up there create this uh, 36 point the next is just make sure camera and play the next one is our day so this is a uh, dynamic text so we search for the day of the week and then copy this one we create the date and time date date and time this one is also dynamic so go to insert dynamic dynamic text and it's I think medium date and the short time perfect so far and now uh, we want to place it so we have enough space um, uh, at the top and enough space at the bottom and so the camera and play would be there then the day would be right here Underneath that, uh, we put uh, this in part three, the timer, uh, including the timer to this whole scene. And um, of course, uh, the date and time would be right here. So of, co of course, you can switch the places if you want to. And for this, we need the device. So add the device to your patch editor and you see this safe area so you this thing figures figures out uh, depending on which device you use which is uh, the safe area inside the screen now at the insets unpack so you figure out what is it just add this value which value you use at the bottom and so on and so on and so on and we start with the camera and play and we add this positioned to our patch editor the um, position output and we create a pack with two vectors because it's a 2d object and we add to the second value so this value the top and uh, 20 so now it's i just go to resizable now it pl the placement of the camera and play thing right here is always on this point so perfect go back to to this one so right here the next part is the other side and we created for our day and for our day i just add this um, h alignment 
to the other side, the right side, go to the width and make it relative. So now you see it's placed right here. And create a pack for two vectors, add the position to it. And we create from our bottom, no, no, sorry, this one right here, also up here. Perfect. And for this one, minus 20. So we have the same pla placement right here. Now to our last part, this one right here. We leave this uh, H alignment right here, but the V alignment is down. And let's try this. We need the position and we pack the pack two vectors, the bottom as the second. So, so nothing really happens, <laughs> but when you change this right here, goes down right here right now. And also the 220, so it shifts a little bit to the side, but it's uh, down below right here. What you now use is right here is a multiply and I tried something else, but this is the only thing that works for me. Add the value to minus one. So it multiplies with minus one. This is the first value. And this is now the second value. So it's boof, um, goes up. And that really works for me. I hope if you have another or a better solution, please let me know. I am... Um, just starting with uh, working with this um, relative um, things right here and now it's it's working for me but uh, the next step we want to create is this play button so we create at first a rectangle like every time <laughs> rectangle and add to this rectangle of course a material hello so this is our play button or rec icon, or I say play icon, play icon. Um, play, <laughs> icon, and make sure the shader type is flat and add, um, Okay, of course, we will change it uh, later to a white, but uh, for this example, uh, magenta is uh, pretty well. We see everything. What I want to use, so you have more control about the color and so on and so on. I use a shade uh, or a texture for the alpha. So, and I add an alpha, a new texture. And this is my play icon texture. So you see this right here. Um, way too big. Um, so make sure that the scale is my 1.5 maybe. So this is a uniform scalar, maybe three, I think three is fine. So I want to switch, uh, make sure that the position is right here. Create another pack. Again, maybe there is a, is a better solution for everything, but <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> like this uh, tutorial so far if yes so leave a like of course uh, and a subscription if you want to know more about everything and yeah the position so the pos position is right here so what i do now is i use a subtract because it's a little bit too low And I subtract uh, the second value is our, or the first value is of, of course, uh, the top of the insets unpack. And uh, the second would be, I think, 10. No, sorry. So this is, this is, looks pretty nice. 
And then I want to shift it a little bit to, to the side, maybe 40, maybe 30. Okay, for <laughs> the middle. So perfect so far, just resizable. So make sure that the setting is perfect. Yeah, and that it looks very nice. And now we have the settings for this whole 2D text positions. Comment it, 2D text position. I really love the comment section or the, this uh, one right here because uh, when I group it, I don't see what I created before. So this is pretty helpful. Um, you have a clear organized patch editor. So use this comments and you can also um, change the color for example like this one is green and this is blue and now we want to create uh, this uh, animation for our icon and I saw so many solutions where uh, the icon works with a uh, animation sequence but this animation sequence it's a uh, way more information for uh, JPEGs and so on and so on and uh, what I use is working with a pulse and an animation loop so you switch the visibility on and off of this icon. If you can uh, make it possible to don't use animation sequence at all, do it. <laughs> so maybe uh, with the, for the glitch, there is uh, also a better programmed solution for it. So we create the visibility um, output from our player and we add an animation loop animation to it and we add a transition we need just two vectors we create two choices we start with zero and end with with two um, we don't need we just need the number just two values where we start so progress and now we add an less than so we want to switch when it's less than zero and the second value is one we create a pulse the um, value is less less than zero so add a pulse to it switch and then it flips of course And that's why I used two in this value. If I use one, it just, you see the result. Oh, it's also working. So I thought it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. So make sure you add two. So you have this pulse right here. And the curve, transition curve, of course, is linear because um, there is just like a switch on and off and on and off. So this is a way better solution instead of using an animation sequence. And also, it should, it's possible there is a way better solution, but this is pretty nice, I think. And call this play animation play icon animation yeah give it an orange <laughs> I don't know and that's it now I would change the color uh, to white again but this is uh, the next step in the end result we create this timer right here and I create this timer just with patches. I saw so many solutions for a script and so on and so on, but I do, don't have the feeling that I have a lot of control about the setting. So this is my solution. It's I, maybe you see it right here a little bit much, but I hope you uh, join me to the last part of this tutorial season. If you want to know how to create the uh, glitch, watch this tutorial. And if uh, you see this tutorial series a little bit later, I will, of course, uh, link the 
last part right here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and we see us next time. And of course, subscribe, like and share with your friends. Enjoy the process. Bye bye.